and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining me on my latest Liverpool Daily News show. If you haven't seen my previous video today, I've done two videos, so go and check that out. It should be in the top right um, if you click on that as well. But hopefully having a cracking day. I talked about in that previous video, I talked about M.A. Chan. He talked a bit about his goal against West Ham. So, and obviously Jose Mourinho starting his mind games. Uh, yeah, I've got what he's had to say in that story as well. So go and check that video out if you fancy it. But today's episode, this latest episode, I've got Liverpool's Nathaniel Klein simply did not want to be substituted on Sunday in his builds in his build up to obviously his re rehabilitation. He obviously played in the under twenty threes win against I think it was Stoke. So I've got that news story coming up on what he's what the Neil Klitschke's obviously the manager is had to say in terms of his comeback to the first team. Obviously Liverpool starlet Ed Edvard Tagasef Hopefully you've got that right. The young, obviously, the young Liverpool talent that is obviously currently in the under, if it was under 19s with Steven Gerrard. He has uh, been ruled out, but I've got what's been said about that as well and his response to that story. If I'm checked this lad out, go and check him out. He's been in superb form. But I'll be talking about that as well. And to conclude in my final story today, Sergio Mane believes Liverpool can be the best of the rest in the Premier League in terms of the last eight closing games of the season. So yeah, as always everyone, I always leave my stories in the description. So if you want to check them out in the full extent and the entirety, go and check them out. But basically, let's go into the Nathaniel Klein story really. Nathaniel Klein's determination to make up for lost time, that has meant there was no chance he would... He would he would ask to be substituted in his return to action. Klein lasted the full 90 minutes as Liverpool's under 23s romped to a 4-0 victory at Stoke in Sunday in, in Sunday's Premier League two clash. It was the right back's first uh, first team action since the friendly at Tramier last July, having seen his season um, destroyed by a back injury. And Nathaniel Klein was desperate to underline his fitness by refusing the opportunity to be replaced at the weekend. Obviously, under-21's boss Neil Critchley goes on to add on the LFC TV. He has not played for seven months and the plan was to see how, how long he would go for. He kept putting his thumb up and saying he was okay. He obviously wanted to see out the, the 90 minutes, which was great for him. I thought he was a great example to our players in the way in which he managed himself during the game. Klein obviously previously stepped up his rehabilitation by travelling with the squad, obviously to Marbella, obviously last week with their pre-warm up and against um, all of them went to travel to Spain, a bit of rehab anyway. But obviously Klein he went with them, which is fantastic to say. But Jordan Ensign put a bit of comments in as well. I've got what Jordan said here. He was back in the sessions in Marbella and they could see the lads looking at each other and thinking how sharp he is. He's come back in fantastic shape and he's a naturally fit person anyway. This is a massive boost for us because Kleine is international quality and will 100% make us even more competitive between now and the end of the season. Finishing he is one of those players that can take that, that that can be taken for granted because in and around football he's extremely low key. But to conclude, Hendo is that to say, but he is someone who is a fellow professional who is professional fellow professionals rate as highly as you can imagine. So it's absolutely fantastic that Kleine is, is basically come back. I'm buzzing to see him, obviously, in, in training and every single one of his are because before Kleine got injured, when he was always a 7 out of 10 performer, wasn't he? <laughs> Liverpool in the past did have, obviously, Glenn Johnson. Um, for me personally, I'd, Glenn Johnson's attacking play, I loved, but defensively, he got left 
um, get, got left hanging really because it, it was terrible uh, a trap and back the, the, the attacking players but when Nathaniel Klein come from Southampton I was very very impressed by him obviously what an absolute bargain 20 if it was 18 to 23 million you can't argue with that in today's market but let like, get involved are you made up to see Nathaniel Klein back Obviously, we've got Trenty playing absolutely amazing. Joe Gomez, as in the previous video, talked about the right-back situation. And Klopp even talked about, Jürgen talked about in my previous video, about the right-back situations and the and the depth of quality in which Liverpool have got. But yeah, that was just a little story in terms of that. Obviously, going into Liverpool starlet, Edvard Tagashev, who um, will miss the rest of the, next, uh, the, rest of the season. Liverpool's under-18 star Edvard Tagasev has been ruled out for the remi- remainder of the season. The 17-year-old, who has missed just two league games for Steven Gerrard's side, this campaign is reported to have suffered a stress response injury in his left leg between his knee and hamstring, which looks set to keep him sidelined until mid-May. Speaking to the Norwegian Liverpool's f- official supporters club the midfielder said the season is over i will not be back in normal football training again and until again before may the 15th it's not a stress fracture but the degree but below it he adds i have to admit it i feel a bit heavy now there will be a lot of strength training to improve the core muscles the core muscles until May. It's important that I do not start to hang my head because of this. I'm aiming to get stronger back next season. Obviously, the Norwegian, he, he, by all accounts, I haven't seen much of the lad play. But if anyone's seen him, for obviously Steven Gerrard's team, it, it sounds like he's, a, it's a, he's going to be a huge blow in terms of their obviously title pursuit. But if you've seen the lad play, t- tell everyone in the comment section below and even tell me. I'd love to find out what type of player he is obviously in his playing style is he a creative attacking midfielder or a, a box-to-box midfielder get involved everyone but yeah that, that's a blow and I'm gutted because it's not good to see players especially at that level for Liverpool Football Club this lad could be an absolute sensation if he continues his form in which he's been shown for Steven Gerrard and, and Liverpool Football Club at that level because there's no reason for him and any any other players at under 17s, under 23 levels to really stake a stake a, a challenge. So obviously, because he got the best manager in Europe, that will give the the young lads the best chance to get in the starting eleven. But yeah, concluding on obviously the Saudi money story. Saudi money believes Liverpool can be the best of the rest in the Premier League. Sadio Mane believes Liverpool can prove they are the best of the rest in the Premier League this season. Mane has set his sights on finishing as runners up, uh, runners up to runaway leaders Manchester City. Mane goes on to conclude, second is one of our targets. Honest, honestly, Manchester City are too far ahead, and it will be difficult to catch them. But it is possible to be second, and we are going to do our best to get it. We also will also do our best in the Champions League. Why can't we win all the remaining games? We have got a great team. This is a fo- this is football, and anything can happen. Obviously, Mane equaled his tally for last season against West Ham, um, which is absolutely fantastic because he hasn't had the most amazing season, has he? Everyone, obviously, we've all looked to him this season. He's been a bit inconsistent. Very much so, but the last couple of weeks he's come into form. It's there's no doubting that he's tried, he's give everything. But sometimes this season he's looked like he's been trying too hard, if you get me. Um let me know your thoughts on that. But Jürgen Klopp has warned about the dangers of complacency to Manny following his big win over Porto. And the message is clearly got through to him and the rest of the team. I just try to work harder and harder every day to improve and get better and better, Mane added. I think the whole team played well. We didn't score in the beginning, but we tried to keep working as a team and then we scored four goals. I think we deserved the win against West Ham. We have worked in training and beat teams who stay deep. 
that's absolutely fantastic, man. He's absolutely legend. If he continues, hopefully you do, mate. Because uh, I tell you what, we've got with you up front, Mohamed Salah, the absolute king, and Bobby Firmino, used for the, uh, probably the best attacking for me, Pierce. I can't see a better forward three on current form. Maybe Manchester City's when all they're fully fit, but in Europe, we're so lucky to have those three. And hopefully, Touchwood, we keep them for a very, very long time at Liverpool Football Club. But yeah, as always, everyone, hope you really did enjoy the show. I, I, I loved bringing it to you. I loved what Saudi Almani had to say there, but get involved in the comment section below, everyone. Really do appreciate all your support. You have to be legends. But yeah, I'll speak to you tomorrow with another video. But if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. But yeah, as always, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. You, you'll never walk alone. Chill out, everyone. Thank you.